Beth had already retired for the evening, leaving me in sole charge of the Sky Remote. So I did what all men do when left in charge of the Sky Remote. I trawled the upper end of the Sky Box. Not looking for the sort of thing that you think I was looking for, but looking for interesting programs from Japan and America that are on the net, sort of thing. And I found this program, I shit you not, I've Googled it and everything, I've never found it again, it was called Pimp My Mum. At the hind of the cable TV box, the young boy's tears rolled on. He sent out an impassioned personal plea to the gym and the tan salon. He said, I know you're just fake gym bunnies and your fake tan rolls off and on. But in the name of all that's holy, won't you please, please pick my mom. She's got a tired wardrobe. She's got an empty phone. And even the big men, when it's Christmas, they leave her well alone. Well, she never goes out. She just sits at home. There's no fire in her eyes. Won't you narrow her thighs? Please, you saw us pick my mom. Well, I bought a color chart back from the town so that her hair and the tan wouldn't clash. She could go mocha or Liverpool docker, tikka masala or cheddar mash. She wears a baggy sweatshirt featuring characters from the books of A.A. Milton. She once queued outside Chelmsford Odeon for six hours before she found out Free Willy was just a film. Well, I'm out of ideas. Just trying to be a good son What she needs right now Is a ping ping And a bloody good one There's no one in her life Nobody could succumb To the lack of charm The self harm And all of the chat bomb Please, you gotta pick my mind Thank you very much.